Darling, you may not be a puppy, but you're going to make a lovely scarf for me. A lovely scarf for Mom. Yes, you will. I know you're not a puppy, and I know you don't have spots. But darling, you're just going to be beautiful. Such a beautiful coat, don't you think? Isn't he lovely? Darling. Um, in case you couldn't tell, <laughs> uh, I am doing a Cruella de Vil tutorial, but this is not just any Cruella de Vil tutorial. This is specifically Cruella as she is played on Once Upon a Time. Um, great character, great actress, and awesome makeup. She just looks absolutely incredible. Um... And I really just had to try it myself because I couldn't not. So obviously you can do this as a Halloween look. You're not necessarily going to wear this out to the club. If you do, more power to you. Um, but for Halloween you could get um, the hair. Her wig on that show is so awesome. I'm pretty sure it's not her real hair. We had a lot of fun doing this. So if you want to see how I did it in my trial and error and all the things that went wrong along the way, keep watching. All right, so I started with my normal Neutrogena moisturizer, and then I'm going in with this NYX um, eyeliner. Very bright blue. It's actually really, really pretty. Um, and I am just going to cover both of my mobile lids in that. Um, and eventually I will realize that it's too blue, but we're not there yet. <laughs> I'm taking this Body Shop fluffy brush, and um, it's clean. I'm using that to blend um, that blue out before it sets. I don't know if this eyeliner actually sets, but then I'm taking this Laura Mercier palette and I'm going to be using the darkest shade from it, which is this gray. And um, that's because the blue was just too bright blue and she does have a hint of blue, but it's not as blue as that. So I put the gray over the top of it to kind of dull it down, but still leave a bit of that blue color peeking through. And then I took that gray shade kind of up and down from the corner of my eye to the front of my eyebrow to kind of set up, set up like a base or smoky situation line happening where I want the eventual darker line to go. And then I, I'm sorry that that's out of focus, but it's a Revlon um, eye pencil and I'm sharpening it because it needs to be a little sharper for what's about to happen here. And I realize you cannot see it all, so I cut most of this out, but I'm just basically taking a line from my inner corner to my inner uh, eyebrow on both sides. And then I kind of fill in my eyebrow with this, but really I'm just drawing a different shape over it. Um, and it looks pretty crazy. <laughs> um, but it it works, this pencil worked really well. I'm glad I didn't use the one that I was planning on using because it's also a really cheap eyeliner and it works well when you're gonna be using the poop out of it or the eyeliner out of it, I guess would make more sense. And then I used that same Body Shop um, brush to blend that eyeliner because um, this is a very blendable eyeliner and I used that brush to kind of give it that smoky corner, that upper corner that she has um, on the show and I just blended the crap out of it for a while <laughs> because um, it's just such a smoky look right there so I needed to make sure that that stood out. And then I took my brand new Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal and this little brush um, that I got in an Ipsy bag, I think. And it's a dual-ended brush. I'm using the smaller side to put some of that um, under the brow bone where um, she has a lot of contrast from the corner of the eye being so dark and the outer 
edge of the eye being a lot lighter. And then I actually took the white, the matte white from that same Laura Mercier palette and I stuck that over it because it wasn't pale enough and it still ends up not being pale enough after all that, but that's okay. And then I'm taking this um, really small e.l.f. angled brush and my Naked 2 palette, the matte black from that palette. I don't know why I'm saying that because you're literally watching what I'm doing. But anyway, so I'm taking that and I just go over everywhere that there's black eyeliner. Um, it really solidifies the color. It cleans up kind of the more jagged lines and it's going to make it last longer even though I didn't have any plans to be wearing this all day. But if you're doing this for Halloween, you want it to last as long as possible. So, yeah. Yeah. So in a shocking turn of events, my camera stopped recording and I didn't realize it until I was already several steps ahead. So um, basically, I, um, God, what did I even do? I took a, I took a bronzer, um, which I guess I should show, show you since you didn't get to see it. It's a prescriptive bronzer, um, looks like that. And I tossed that with this brush from Luxie that I got in an Ipsy bag. Um, I tossed that under my cheekbone, up onto my temples, and a little bit up here. Um, but really, there's like barely anything on the brush while I'm doing this right now. Um, but mostly just concentrated here and on the temples. And I also took that a little bit right here. I don't know how to describe that part of one's face. Cause it's like, it's not quite the apple of the cheek, but it's right in front of it. Um, cause the, the picture that I'm using of her for reference, that's kind of where, um, the color is. It's almost like a curve right here. Um, and then she has the major highlight right here. So for the highlight, I used my Beckering, Beckering, Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal again. And again, it wasn't quite pale enough. Um... So I tossed a little bit of my NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk um, onto it, and I think it looks, I mean, look how shiny it is, but um, it's definitely better than it was. So yeah, so she just has a very angular face. Um, the other thing I did off camera, um, I added, um, I think it cut out while I was still putting the eyeshadow on the, over the black. So. Um, I put a little bit of the jumbo um, pencil, the NYX jumbo pencil and milk over this part as well because it wasn't, it just wasn't white enough. She has such stark contrast um, in her face. Um, and then I put a little of that in my inner rim. And um, now I'm going to do um, my usual uh, bad gal lash and they're real. I'm going to do that. I'm only going to do one of them on the bottom because her bottom lashes are not very um, done, if you will. Oh, okay. The other really huge thing that I did, um, which you probably noticed, is I took uh, Q-tips and some makeup remover and kind of cut um, that because it was a little too rounded for me. And I was looking at the picture and I was like, it's, it's all angles. She's all angles. Um, so I sliced off that curve and then went over it with powder um, so that it didn't look ridiculous. And so if you see that being shiny, it's because there's some makeup remover um, that got into the, the rest of it. But Okay, so now this is honestly the simplest part of this entire look is the lips. <laughs> Um, so I'm just going to take this, uh, L'Oreal Color Riche lip liner in Always Red and just line my lips. Um, again, everything about her is angular, so she has a very, um, I'm trying to find a better picture of her here. She has a very pronounced pointy cupid's bow, which I do not, so I'm going to have to draw that in a little bit, fake it. She also does very pointy um, outer corners of her lips as well. So um, this just makes me look kind of tired, doesn't it? <laughs> um, but I am, so it's okay. 
So I'm going to cheat, you know, obviously cheat my natural shape to be more pointy and angular like hers. And then um, I'm actually not going to fill them all the way in with this because I don't really care. So I'm not completely thrilled with how the lips turned out. I went ahead and um, filled them in with Are You Ready uh, from, oh god, I don't even know, Color Sensational Lipstick, and I don't know the brand, let's be real, Maybelline. So it's just a very bright red, obviously. Darling. But yeah, uh, <laughs> so this is the finished look. Um, what do you guys think? I'm not terribly mad at it. I mean, um, I'm not great at contouring um, because I just don't ever really because um, I'm so pale. I just, I do put highlight on. Sometimes I do a little bit of bronzer, but she is perfect for Corella DeVille. I like, the first time she was introduced, I was like, yes, yes. I mean, they do a great job of casting on Once Upon a Time, like, Elsa and Anna were spot on. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Maleficent. I'm not gonna lie. I don't. I don't think she's that great. But Cruella, man, they did such a great. Like I don't know where they found her, but she's perfect. <laughs> she is absolutely perfect. Um, and uh, she rocks this. She has a very angular face, very angular features, and the makeup that they do on her really just brings that out even more. Um, I also realized I kind of made my mouth tilt down a little bit, which I guess is appropriate, but I also kind of look like a clown, just a little. Um, so yeah, obviously not the most wearable look, uh, but yeah, so I had a lot of fun doing this. Um, I don't know if you guys had a lot of fun watching it, probably not, because <laughs> I just, you know, I don't feel great today and I'm just not really with it, but, but, <laughs> um, that being said, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you want me to do other villain tutorials. This was a lot of fun. And uh, Cruella DeVille has always been one of the most fancy villains to date as far as the women go. Like, subscribe, comment. Let me know if you want to see other villains or um, other looks from TV shows. A couple other looks that I'm planning to do for you guys. Um, one of them is actually a good, a good character instead of a villain. So maybe I'll do that one next. Um, we can, we can do a little comparison, see which one you guys like better. And then, um, there's also a commercial, uh, it was a makeup commercial and I saw, uh, the makeup that it was Emma Stone and I saw the makeup she was wearing and I was like, I want to do that because it looks easy, but it also looks really good. Darling. I just can't stop saying darling. Darling. With this makeup on. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Bye guys. Oh god, I swear if I have to do another video for these people, I'm just... Oh darling, don't get me started.